Morning, Psych Tech. Today we're going to be going over food chains. Today, I can interpret and analyze food chains <clears throat> plus food webs. So a little review from last week. Producers and consumers. All organisms can be divided into two categories, depending on how they get their energy. You have a producer, right here, autotrophs, that make their own food, like a plant. And consumers, heterotrophs get food from other organisms for energy, like this cow that eats the plant that is a producer. Take this down, do your notes for today, trophic level. It's how the organisms get energy. There are three main trophic levels. The producer, energy from the sun, a consumer, primary, secondary, and tertiary, which eat a producer or other animals for their energy, and three decomposers, like a mushroom or bacteria. A food chain shows how the flow of energy from one organism to another. To another. We have the sun, which is the producer for everything. Always remember that. The main producer in any ecosystem is always the sun. A plant gets energy from the sun. Beetle gets energy from the plant. Frog gets energy from the beetle. And the owl gets energy from the frog. Producer is a first order consumer, the ladybug. Second order consumer is the frog. And third order consumer is the owl, the last one to eat. Secondary, the second order consumer. And the decomposers break down dead organisms into simple molecules. So when anything dies, whereas the plant, the beetle, the frog, the owl, any living organism, bacteria eats it, and it's, the cycle's begun again. Now, how might the real world be more complicated? A food web shows how all the organisms in a community are connected. A little picture right here. Many food chains in one food web. This is the food web, but there's many different organisms and many different other components that make up a complicated food chain. The arrows show the direction the energy is flowing points to the stomach of what eats it. So as you see, the plant has no arrows pointing to it because it doesn't eat anything. But the rabbit, as the arrow right, arrow right here, points to the plant. The grass is in that rabbit's stomach. And then the owl over here, as the arrow points to it with the lines of the rabbit. The owl eats the rabbit and it gets its energy from the rabbit. The rabbit's in his belly. So, for another example, the snake eats the mouse and the frog. Right here, snake eats frog, snake eats mouse, owl eats snake. Remember, all energy starts with the sun. Alright, Thompson out.